Okay, we are moving on to question five now, which is about probability. And it is very important that you keep the formulas for probability in mind to solve this question. So for, for number A, we need to use the formula P of E and F equals to P of E times P of F which gives us, this is given, 1 over 3, and here we have 2 over 3 multiplied by P of F, which gives us P of F equals to 1 over 3 times 3 over 2, which we can cancel out, and which gives us P of F equals two half. Okay, now to solve part B. Um, we were given, we just calculated P of F to be half. Which we need for the next, for part B. Okay, now again we need the formula. P of E F equals to, this is a formula, equals to P of E plus P of F minus probability of E intersection F. And now I just plug into the formula P of E union F equals to P of E is given to me in the question 2 over 3 plus P of F is which I calculated before which um, is 1 over 2 minus P um, union F is 1 over 3, which gives me, first of all, 1 over 3 plus half, taking this close together, and then now giving it a common denominator gives me 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6, which gives us 5 over 6. Okay, I'm now moving on to question 6, which is a function, it is a quadratic um, parabola. And um, for part A, all we need to do is find m and p. And if you look at the um, equation of the parabola here, um, it is a formula that m and p are actually the val x and y coordinates of um, the vertex, which is this point. So this would be m, and this is 2. So the y value, um, so for first I need to find the value of m, which is the x-intercept of um, the vertex. So I can just go down here and see, okay, this is my point, m. So it needs to be exactly in the middle of 1 and 5, which is going to be 3. So I have 2 here and 4 here, and so my m value will be 3. For 2i, we need to find p which is going to be this part of um, the y-coordinate of the vertex and will equal to 2. So p equals to 2. Okay, now I want to solve part b, which tells me to find d in my equation, um, which is right here. So all I can see is um, all the variables here, I have points given and I have the values of m and p, so I can just substitute them into the equation, which gives me First, I'll substitute at m and p, which gives me y equals to d times x minus, and we just found out m, um, and we have p given, which is 2. So we have minus 3 plus 2. Now I can substitute one of the points. I'll choose 1 and 0, and I'll just substitute it here, which is here. This is my x value, this is my y value. So I can just substitute it inside and go 0 equals 2 d times and I'll substitute the x value now, 1 minus 3, whole squared, sorry, I forgot that here, plus 2. Now I take the 2 to the other side, which gives me minus 2 equals 2, d times, and then I can do this here, minus 2 squared, which when I take this to the other side, gives me minus 2 over 4 equals to d, and then just, um, which gives me minus half equals to d. And that is my final answer for, um, Part B. Now let's do. Let's scroll down here. 